What? Free offer? What are you talking about? Yes. Want to tell you about a free event online that I'm hosting this Friday? Go down below to this to the description box or visit asoneguidance.com for more details on the event. It is a live Q&A on the Twin Flame journey. And for those that attend, uh, we'll get specific insight into their own journeys. Also, if you have questions uh, about your Twin Flame journey or something that you would like me to address in a video, send your questions in to questions at asoneguidance.com and I will put together a question and answer video for you. So, the Divine Masculine Twin Flame is moving through sadness. How do I know that? Because I am a Divine Masculine and I have been working through deep levels of sadness. And my Twin Flame, who is the Divine Feminine, has also been working through those same feelings. Why? Because we are one. And she and I experience and work through the same things together. Why? Because that's what twin flames do. So, they're sad. They're lashing out. They're in pain. They're suffering. They're expressing it however they're expressing it, and that's okay. How do you deal with those emotions? How are you expressing those emotions? Right? How are you dealing with those emotions? I've been dealing with going to the core within myself of these feelings surrounding my separation and healing them with the mirror exercise. Sadness, pain, betrayal, hurt, sorrow, guilt, etc., etc. They come up in layers to be healed. So you have to do the inner work, the mirror exercise, to heal them. Because these, these emotions, these feelings, don't just vanish on their own. Like at the moment, they have a really nice home that they really, really enjoy being in. So you have to remove them because they are only taking up space where love wants to come in. Love and fear don't exist in the same place. Love conquers fear every single time. However, you have to let love into that place in order for the fear to dissolve. You have to do it. You have to feel through all of those bad feelings. But what is it that you are doing to heal yourself? Because if you're only focused on the problem, like my twin flame this, and my twin flame that, and they're never gonna this, and I'm never gonna that, then you keep generating more of that same problem. You keep the the you keep circulating all of the same things. If you're looking for something to change on your twin flame journey, it starts with you. By focusing on the problem, you create more of those problems. Those problem thoughts and the problem scenarios. And the problem situations, the, the solutions can't come to you because you aren't focused on the solution, you're focused on the problem. So when you focus on the solution, you open yourself up to receiving solutions to the problems you're having. If you desire something to change, you have to change from within. If you're not willing to change, then the message you're sending is that you refuse to give up your illusions of separation. How can you get into union 
if you won't give up those illusions to separation. Those illusions of separation come up in the form of feelings, negative feelings, negative emotions. So you want to feel your feelings. All of those bad things can feel really bad. You want to feel through them. Feeling your feelings won't hurt you. They may, they may feel uncomfortable, but a feeling won't put you in grave danger. You're not, you're not in jeopardy by feeling your feelings. It's just a feeling. It might tell you that you're in grave danger or jeopardy, but it's just a, a lie or, or an illusion, false belief. Now, you may suppress those feelings or stuff them down and, you know, make, make, them, make yourself think that they're gone, but you're only hiding them from yourself. If you want to make no progress at all, on your twin flame journey then that is a brilliant way to do it stuff it down don't confront your feelings hide your feelings from yourself and don't explore your feelings more deeply boom no progress no healing no moving forward no union you have to feel your feelings in order for those negative blockages to release so that you can be free of the negative beliefs that are energetically blocking you from being in union with your twin flame. So go down below, click the links, or directly go to asoneguidance.com for more information on how, on how I can help you through separation and into union with your twin flame. And don't forget to sign up for the free event on Friday. Take care.